Hey guys, today was a really exciting day for me. I had a couple people who watch videos on the channel stop by and drop off a bunch of fish. So I'm super excited to show you guys all the cool things I got. Some of it's gonna be on the website, some of it's gonna be in the store. Um, so let's get into this, um, not unboxing, but a little showing here. All right, first group of fish here um, we got from Steve. So thank you very much, Steve. Lots of cool fish in here. So these are 22 of the orange laser quarries. So he actually breeds these um, from wild caught fish. He told me that he got over 200 eggs from one spawn. So that's really cool. And we got a group of 11 electric blue acaras that he bred. Nice size. And these I was blown away by. These are some super red bristlenose, but look how dark red they are. Like I've never seen them this deep, deep red before. Really nice size. Beautiful, beautiful color on them. I was blown away by these. Definitely gonna be putting these guys on the website. I'm gonna bring some into the store. I'm probably gonna keep some of these super reds, honestly. They look so good. Probably keep like four or five for myself. Can't help myself there. This next group of fish I could thank Mike for. Uh, thank you very much, Mike. These are all uh, German blue rams that he bred himself. I got 30 of these guys. Turns out we're actually in the same town. So these guys are getting the exact same water, um, which you can't beat when you're um, trying to source fish locally when they're being raised in your town's water. And he was really nice enough to give me the adult parents of these fry. We'll get better shots of them later. But these guys are really, really cool. There's a really cool story behind these guys that I'll get into a little bit later when I put these guys in the tank. But I'm trying to get a nice shot of them now. They're obviously freaking out, but these guys are stunning. So he was nice enough to throw these in for me. So I really appreciate that. I'm going to, you know, definitely play around with that pair. These guys I've gotten from a really great guy who um, luckily I've been able to get to know um, as he's been coming in the store. I put them in a specimen container just because I wasn't able to get a good shot of them in the bags. But these are long fin bristle nose. And what's special about these guys is that they actually have white tips at the end of their finnage. So you can see that there. Kind of get a different shot of them. Um, they also have these like, the spotted pattern on the body. Way different than the ones I have right now. Super cool. So it's nice enough to give me two males and three females. And you can see how the finnage is nice and even. Very elegant looking. I'm super excited to work with these. But I figured I'd get this shot now because once I put them in a tank, I'm probably not going to get the best shots of them. But they look awesome. We got a close up look of all the super reds. These guys just look awesome. Awesome, awesome. Nice deep red. Got the Super Reds in their quarantine tank. These are the ones that I decided to keep. And here are the ones that I'm gonna bring to the store and put on the website. So these guys got a nice 20 gallon. Luckily with all the fish that I did get, I had tanks ready for them. Uh, I had to clear out a lot of tanks, reset a bunch of them. Here are the orange lasers. I put some dragonstone and some guppy grass to kind of give them some cover, so most of them are hiding behind the dragonstone. Definitely gonna go keep probably maybe five of these to add to my group of adults. Since these were bred from wilds, um, genetics are probably a little different than the group that I have growing out over here, the adults.
So I'll have a nice group. Hopefully I can get mine to spawn at some point. They're still in quarantine. Um, I'll probably put them in a 20 gallon. I was told that they prefer to spawn on glass rather than mops. Here's the pair of the German Blue Rams. I put them in a 10 gallon. I put some water sprite floating and some little coconut hut there for them. Obviously they're stressed out, they're scared. I just put them in. You could already see the color. And you may notice they don't look like typical German Blue Rams. So from what Mike told me, he let me know that he ordered German Blue Rams and he was sent these guys. And what the breeder told him is that in the lineage of these guys, there are electric blues and there are also dark rams in there. So they got this extra cool, like spangling to them. Really beautiful fish. I'm loving the way that they came out. We'll go look at the babies in a little bit. I'm hoping once they get comfortable, they will hopefully breed for me. He was nice enough to give me the pair. He just wanted to move on to a different different project. But I love the spangling on this female. And the male looks really good too. I can't wait to see once they're fully comfortable and breeding what they look like. But we'll look at the babies now. So here are the babies. The adult pair we looked at were nine months old. These guys are, I think, three months old, maybe four months. You can see they have the similar spangling that the parents have. And I was told that out of the whole group of babies, there were a couple, maybe four or five electric blue rams that came out. So there's actually one there who's in the mix. But there's definitely different genetics in this line creating whatever you want to call these. Um, I'm sure I'll come up with a name for them. They're definitely a mix of all the different strains um, throughout the generation. So you can see they throw different ones. I mean, I think that makes them super unique, super cool. I'm gonna bring some of these guys to the store and put some on the website. The electric blue Acaras are already kind of settling in. They're in this tank that's covered in different algae, but that's all right for them. Doesn't look great for us, but it's healthy for them. These guys look really good with their color. Only been in the tank for maybe an hour. Already coloring up really nice. Really torn with these guys to not keep them and just grow them up and try to breed them too. Just thinking of putting them on the website. I probably will to kind of test out how they do. They're really nice for the store too. So it's really hard. Um, for me, when I have the store, I have the fish room, and I'm obviously obsessed with fish, so it's hard for me to not keep a lot of stuff um, and try to, you know, play with them myself. Especially when you get quality like this. Looking really, really nice. The long fin plecos with the white tips are settling in. This tank, this tank I had set up for some guppies that I plan on getting but I didn't expect to get as many fish as I did today, so they are in here now. We got the floating water sprite, the aquarium co-op uh, sand substrate in here, which actually works for them because they are darker fish, so they'll stand out. These guys are old enough to sex, but definitely not old enough to breed. I do have the long fins right now that I'm working on that don't have the white tips and don't have the this body pattern. I think I'm gonna continue with both lines. All right, so there we have it, a bunch of cool new fish added to the fish room. Definitely check them out on the website in the store and we'll see you in the next one.